Hey Capricorn, welcome back to Peony Lore, where we help you to find the beauty in all things. So this is going to serve for the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of Capricorn from the 25th through the 31st of October. Um, as I've done in the previous couple of weeks, I'm going to do the um, Sun, Rising, and Moon uh, card spreads, of, which will be read at the end of the reading where I talk about the astrology of the week. So Capricorn, you really only have a couple of placements this week. Um, we still have the energy of the placements of, of Capricorn with that whole Pluto that we've been talking about for a couple of months. That usually, <coughs> excuse me, that's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of this particular week. Um, the week belongs to um, a couple of signs. We're going to finish off uh, with Gemini on Monday. Um, and then Tuesday, we switch into the sign of uh, Cancer. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday belongs to a Leo. And then uh, Saturday and Sunday really tr uh, transitions into the sign of Virgo. So if you have any of those placements in your chart, then this could probably be a really good, interesting reading for you. Otherwise, um, you might want to take a look at those readings at the end if they are meaningful placements in your chart or whoever it is that you happen to be dealing with. So really the energy that's happening this week universally, uh, Monday and Friday are probably the better energetic days of the week this week for everyone. Um, that's because we have three sexy trines that are showing up on Monday um, with the rest of that whole Gemini energy. It's the Aquarius um, and Jupiter uh, conjunction that is going on here. Um, the expansion and um, the energy of how to bring that newness forward um, with that uh, Wheel of Fortune energy. It's also the energy of where Mars and Libra are having conversation on Monday. Um, how do we push this forward as aggressively but in a balanced way? <laughs> Um, so that kind of balances itself out there. And then the sexy trine that happens with the energy of uh, Scorpio Sun um, supporting um, uh, the moon in the sign of both. Yes. Uh, so supporting the sign of uh, the switchover into um, the Cancerian moon. Okay. So that's going to be a really, really good day. And then Friday, the reason is because we have um, Leo that's coming in here with the energy of um, moving forward. Um, a lot of passion that comes in there with that fire. But it's supporting the Taurian energy that comes around with the energy of um, Uranus. Um, how do we do the day-to-day -day practical steps with the energy of that, that combination and pair? Um, again, um, that is really, really supportive. But also Mercury is switching and having this conversation with Libra as well. What other magic can we make happen um, with that energy to support the balance of the newness that wants to be able to come through? Wow, it's sticking here with support thank you guys thank you thank you thank you um so those are the two better days of the week the days that i think are going to really trip people up is going to be saturday and tuesday and it's because thank you it's because we have the energy on tuesday of the square with chiron and aries again um asking people to take responsibility with those changes now we have pisces um um in the uh, Neptune and Pisces energy, which is a little bit airy fairy for people coming down to earth a little bit with what it is that they need to be able to do. And then on this day, when Mercury is talking to Venus, um, to Libra specifically, um, it's, it's really trying to shut down anything that's a little bit weird. So people have these really grand, glorious ideas about how they want to move forward with all this mo forward momentum and energy. And the universe is trying to just make sure that the conversation is really balanced with how it really needs to kind of come out. On Saturday, the reason it's kind of thick is because we basically have four transitions that are happening on that particular day, right? We got the moon switching position from um, Leo into Virgo. Um, so that fiery energy comes down to earth a little bit with Virgo's um, uh, earth and energy, practical energy. The sun in Scorpio does have the square that happens with the Aquarius and Saturn movement um, about uh, the expansion of those big ideas that we talked about. We also have we also have the energy of Venus and uh, Sagittarius coming together with the moon in um, Leo. Thank you. So 
again, that's fast, pushy, aggressive energy. We got to get this point across. We got to get this point across about what logical steps need to take place with how do we balance that out. So that can be really wonky for some people. Um, Sunday, we kind of get a break because we're in two trines, although again, energetically, the better day is Friday, but um, we have two trines on Sunday, which is Samhain or Halloween. Um, so, you know, if you're out and you're doing different types of things, just uh, be available uh, to the appreciation that the Taurus energy that is out there with the whole energy of um, Uranus is really starting to make itself known on that day, the practical steps that must be taken for the ideas that you have. So that's a good trine that comes up with the Virgo energy in the moon, the practical steps again. Um, and then Mercury in Libra, the conversation is happening with that trine with the expansive energy of Jupiter in Aquarius. So a lot of good energy is going to show up on Sunday, but again, it depends upon how you are navigating the energies up until that point in the week. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get started with the basics. We have the sun rising and moon. We will read those at the end, my friends. Um, okay, Capricorn, let us see what we have for you. So we're starting off with the sacred geometry for our Capricorn. Sun, moon, and rising, the 25th through the 31st. Thank you. Mm, sorry, guys, it's this one. They're like, stop. Okay, okay. So you have the hexahedron, which is talking about nurturing and creating. Card 17. So for a lot of you guys, this is going to have a lot to do with your thought process uh, of the continuation of, um, I'm going to say finance for some of you, although it's not going to be for everyone. Um, but it is definitely going to be the ideas that want to step forward. Um, the ideas of whatever it is that you're trying to bring to fruition, that's going to be, um, so I'm going to split it like that right now before I even get into anything else for you for this particular week. Um, nurture and create whatever it is that you've started so that you can continue on with that momentum. Let's go in with the numerology card for our Capricorns, please. Thank you. 888 abundance hello energy of 8 and 888 eight. so 888 eight, eight. continuity um uh, of, of what's going on here for you okay you want me to pull anything else yes all right so we're going to pull the mystical wisdom to help support this and then i'll lay down the cards for the week okay here we go capricorn sun moon and rising No, okay. Ah, almost had it. <laughs> there it is. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Summon your courage and your self confidence for whatever competition is on its way. Okay? It's not a bad card. Healthy competition is necessary. It really is. It brings out the better creative side of what it is that's going on with you. Um, if you can think about a different way that you can maybe be doing something or providing a service or expanding whatever it is that you've got going on for you and Joe Bob over there is doing it one way, there's an opportunity for you to do it a different way and there's still enough healthy business to go around for everyone. But healthy competition is necessary, especially when it comes to continuity with finance and things of that nature, okay? Yay! Okay, tiger energy. <laughs> love that. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and lay down the cards from the Psychic Tarot deck again. And I will use whatever clarifiers they ask me to use because um, it's been a bit mixed bag of tricks <laughs> as I've been doing the readings this particular week. So let's go ahead and see what we've got here. For our Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, we'd like Monday through Sunday, please. Thank you. Monday. Super fast, okay? We have the Ace of Rods in the reverse position. We have the Two of Pentacles upright on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we have Scorpio energy here, the Death card upright. On uh, Thursday, we have the Four of Rods upright. Foundation and Achievements. Nope, it wants to be that one. Oh my gosh, you guys. They said that it's all of them. So, okay, hold on. How do you want me to do this? 
over, down. It's this one. And you want it to be this one, and you want it to be these two. Wow, so you got a lot of duplicates. Uh, <laughs> double cards for the energy for this week. Yep. You are pumped up. You are pumped up about moving into the new direction, my friends. You are pumped up. So the universe is just asking you to realize that there's a few things you need to be aware of this week. Okay? Recognition and reward. Three of Pentacles energy is kind of what your baseline is. Expansion and creating the beginnings of that new foundation. Apprenticeship. The beginnings of a foundation with other people, collaboration, going into business with other people or projects, okay? Because it doesn't always have to be business, but projects with somebody. Um, but there's this physical work that's going on this, uh, this particular week for you. And they're talking about, again, creating this um, energy of nurturing uh, the creation and knowing that there's abundance that needs to be blessed on it and yeah there's going to be some competition so it could be this competition with you um, a little bit with whoever it is that you're going into collaboration with but again the best parts of um, any type of competition have they drive the best out of each other right okay so on the energy of monday we have the ace of rods in the reverse position so for me at this as i'm reading this this is just about timing um, because it's, you definitely have passion. It's not like the passion isn't there. For me, this is just about timing right now. We will clarify that. Um, there's something that needs to come out. Technically, you only had two cards that showed up in the reverse position. So let me continue to move forward. Wow, there's a lot of energy in here right now. Give me a second. <clears throat> We're going to end up talking about your person is what I'm being shared with. We're going to talk a lot about this person that you're going to have this competition with and why it's not something negative. Okay. Thank you. On Tuesday, you have this energy of the two of pentacles, which is choices. It's movement. It's decisions. It's balance. It takes a strong person to balance things and stay in their lane and not pay attention to the drama over here or the drama over there. It takes a very strong person to be able to do that. When you are strong, in that grounded physical sense, okay, you're in your natural home at that particular moment. And when you're in your natural home, it's easier for you to see the sparks that fly and, you know, which direction is going to be highlight for you if you are at a point where you're ready to start making a different decision about something, okay? So that's really great energy. On Wednesday, you have death that's here. Death to the old, in with the new. So this transformative energy that you're getting ready to go through is really a good thing, okay? So death, Scorpio coming in to support you. It's possible that you have Scorpio in your chart. It's possible also at the end of the at the end of the day that you have Aquarius in your chart too, but we'll talk about it because those are the only two major arcana cards that came out here. So I want to give that its its respect. When you get to the energy of Thursday, we have the Four of Rods, like the 1111 card, Foundations and Achievements. This is success. This is being um, honored with your physical activity in a way. This is where um, happiness like really shows up with the conversation. This is where you and this new partner are agreeing to break bread. This also has a lot to do with contracts for people. I know that's not a very standard way of thinking about it, but there's a lot of contracts that are being um, discussed here as well, but it's for the betterment of everyone. Again, 4-4 four, four energy is showing up here. So absolutely um, a lot to do with new contracts that are showing up within this energy here. Now, the first double card that you have on this energy for Friday is the conflict and defeat, and you have this crown chakra, which I thought was interesting, but we're, we're going to get there. Something is going to be made aware to you, and this energy can actually be split between you and this other individual that we're working with, but basically someone is going to feel a little bit wonky, and someone may pop off a little bit with some information that comes available towards them. Um, and I don't mean that to be in a rude way, but... Whenever you have the Five of Swords energy, you have the right to defend yourself when it comes to something that's being made available to you. What happens when you have the Five of Swords, though, is winning the battle at what cost? So I would say pick your battles very, very wisely. And with this crown chakra that pops off, 
you need to utilize the energy that's around you and the awareness that you have. But also it's possible that this person that you're dealing with may feel as though they have a lot of information in, in, in something and you just may want to be at that point where you guys are in agreement. Even if it's an agreement to disagree with something, you need to be in agreement so that neither one of you, if, if I could speak positively, can has to feel this. All right. Again, it's healthy competition this week. When we get to the energy of Saturday, again, we have double cards. And what we have here is one or both of you in this particular situation. Now your fire is burnt out a little bit. So if you can avoid it, and we will do clarifiers, then you're going to find that you're going to be in a better position. But what we have is solar plexus chakra in the reverse position. Also the nine of rods in the reverse position. So this is just like almost giving up. Like... It's almost giving up and the universe is like, don't, you've got enough strength. You can get through this if you, if you give it an opportunity, solar plexus, work on your solar plexus. Maybe you can work on, um, wearing a lot of, um, uh, yellow orange to kind of bolster that you can carry citrine, um, um, anything that's got a golden, um, orangey hue to it, carnelian would actually be supportive for you as well. Um, even pyrite could help to keep you grounded with whatever the situation is over these next couple of days. But the spiritual strength card, the nine of rods in the reverse position is like, you just don't have any energy or you have zero fucks to give at this point. I'm sorry for being crass, but that's just kind of where it's at. Although the universe is saying, don't do that. We're going to get into that. When we get into the energy of Sunday, there's a decision that you made um, so what we have is the seven of cups in the reverse position with the Aquarius energy of the light showing up. No, wait, I'm not. That's not. That's the sun card. Dingles. I'm sorry. That's the sun card. <laughs> in this deck, the light is the sun card. Okay. So what it's highlighting is this decision that you had to make here. So when you have the seven of cups and this one is called, if it's the upright, choose wisely. Basically, all, all that they're saying is that you have all these seven of cups available towards you. All right. And you have to start with the first cup and then the rest, because sometimes it might be too much to take all of them in at the same time. It could be, which is sometimes where the thought process of confusion comes from. But basically you took one of those cups and you started to start with one and then you're realizing what it is that you're going to need to do with the other one. So there's sun shining on this um, situation at the end of the day. So again, it could be Scorpio, Leo, not Aquarius, I beg your pardon. Um, energy that shows up here. So it does look like you're going to be able to get through that, but they are telling you that Saturday and Sunday, okay, Saturday's energy, Friday, Saturday's energy could be a little bit wonky. Um, so we're going to focus very specifically on the energy of, they said your person in this energy. So we're going to start with this, you know, why timing? Let's figure out what's going, because for me, it's timing at this moment. Let's see what we got going on. Which deck do you guys want me to use? Oracle of the Radiant Sun. All right. So let's talk about Capricorn and let's talk about Capricorn's person a little bit here. Can we do that? Yes. Um, okay, so give me two cards on Capricorn's person and then Capricorn. Okay, here we go. Capricorn's person or Capricorn's situation. Okay. <coughs> Drama! Leo energy. <laughs> So we have Leo energy um, with uh, uh, Mercury coming in. And so um, to be perfectly honest with you, that energy shows up on Friday. That's here. That's the energy of the displacement that shows up here. To be honest with you. Yeah. Um, so what's going on here? How do you want me to do this? These, okay, so this is the person. So this person and then this is you, Capricorn. Here's what we got going on here. So, ooh, they want me to use that one too. Okay, but I know why. Okay, so here's the deal. You're going through some dramatics with someone. This is this is Mercury, uh, Mercury. Okay, um, creating and trying to release this drama from the Leo and Aquarius energy that has been going on with your person. Okay. That could be why we called out Aquarius on this one, but it doesn't really matter. The Aquarius energy that we talked about is the expansive energy um, uh, of what needs to come to fruition, the brandy new ideas of all the things, right? But there's some drama going on. So the universe is trying to stop that a little bit. Like, mm, we have to clear this out just a little bit. The second energy is you. So here's your energy in this whole situation. 
you are trying to make a better decision with this Mars in um, Gemini energy in reverse. Okay, you're trying to hold off on a decision. You're holding this situation back. And why? Because again, Mars energy with Taurus is you're trying to defend your position. So I like that energy. You are basically, the universe is helping you at this point. Stop the timing until all of this dramatic situation like starts to show up. When that starts to dissipate on Monday, then you're in a position for better decisions. And then this here's where the transformation comes. Now, what they wanted me to do was they wanted me to put this manipulation card, which is Scorpio energy, on top of this transformation card. So here's what shows up here. And I talked to you guys, Capricorn, about this. Here's the next cards, even though this wasn't in reverse. This is what they're trying to say to you here. With this death card with this transformation that is definitely showing up this jupiter in scorpio energy is is called manipulation okay it doesn't necessarily mean nasty manipulation but it does mean alchemy in the background in some instances but it's also a warning card for you you need to make sure that you're not manipulating the situation Everything needs to be fair and balanced, especially if you're starting up a partnership or you're doing some sort of a learning process or whatever the case may be. Don't be a jerk a hole. OK, um, to the extent of your achievement, which is the sun energy in Capricorn. Yes, you can achieve this, but don't be a jerk about the whole situation while you're going through this transformation. That's the warning that they're giving you. OK thereby allowing yourselves to have this foundation and achievement this four of rods moment shows up now <laughs> i wasn't gonna but we're gonna go through and i want to clarify this conflict and defeat that shows up here because it's a pretty big energy that shows up i'm going to use the in-between tarot for this and they're validating what is the detail here with our capricorn and this conflict and defeat i believe this was the partner or someone else receiving some information what do we got going on here? Capricorn, conflict and defeat on Friday. Woohoo! We got the whole storyline. Ooh, looky, looky. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much like I said. So what's happening is this Lovers card that shows up here with the uh, Chariot. So the Lovers is the Gemini energy and the Chariot is Cancerian energy, just to put it out there. But what's happening is, is there's a disagreement about the best way to defend or create this situation. There's, there's a disagreement, okay? It's a heated conversation, this disagreement that's happening about how we need to move forward. Got the Five of Swords again. If you can listen to each other, then this can be avoided altogether. This nasty part of the conversation, this five of swords in the reverse can cool itself off so that people can move forward into the six of swords energy that wants to show up here. And what it's going to take is realizing that both parties need to be heard. So justice needs to be a part of this conversation. Libra energy needs to be a part of this conversation. Both parties need to be heard. This hangman energy that we talked about at the beginning of the week that I said was going to be a part of it this whole neptunian energy that could be throwing people off this week could be throwing people off because either they believe they heard something or they believe that they know something which could be to the greater good of somebody else <sighs> crown chakra is like mm -mm. all parties need to be heard and even if you do feel that you heard something you can avoid the feeling here if you talk it out so that's the warning that the universe is trying to give you there's going to potentially be an argument with whoever this partner is if you are cognizant of the fact that both parties need to be heard even if it's to agree to disagree at that moment in time you will be able to move forward the other card that came out of it was can we avoid this conflict so we have the hierophant um with the um um aries uh, major arcana here okay um the higher font and the emperor can you both get to a point where you are just agreeing to disagree to dismantle the negative energy in the situation so that's their warning for you this particular week they I appreciate the clarification on that one so let's talk about this energy of then <laughs> saturday because this is i feel this is you friend i feel this is you capricorn Okay, um, this is you 
just feeling like you don't have two shits to give in a situation at this particular moment. Now, this situation doesn't have to tear you apart. If both people can feel that they both can be heard and you can agree to disagree about whatever the situation is and circle back to it or put a pin in it or whatever little phrase you want to use to get back to it so that you can absorb what that person is trying to say and then they have time to absorb what you have to say, then I feel you'll be able to come back together and it'll you'll be stronger for it, okay? But let's go ahead and see what's going on with this uh, spiritual strength in the reverse position with the solar plexus. Talk to me, Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn here on... Saturday, which I told you was a wonky day. Mm -hmm. There's a better way to get to this decision. So in this card, the Six of Cups transitioning into the Seven of Cups is there's a better way to tackle this. Okay. Queen of Cups in the reverse position. Someone is just not hearing it, feeling it, loving it at this particular moment. Off your game. Um, A little bit moody. <laughs> a, a, a lot moody. Okay. Capricorn. Oh, okay. Bloop. Oh, that's nice. So what happens is, in my opinion, um, you start, you, there's another one they said. Okay, hold on. The King of Swords into the Page of Swords. Somebody in this group, in this pairing, gets to the point, there it is, where you realize in order for us to um in order for us to get to this point where we need to try to make this work thank you we're going to take both of them yep here we go <clears throat> okay so here's what they're saying somebody's being somebody needs to realize there's a better way for this situation to happen and that's the six of cups energy okay six of cups in this deck eh, is this one here there's a better way that's what this is saying there's a better way because somebody is not honoring their water, their emotions, um, in a way that needs to be honored. Um, if you're pissed, that's fine to be pissed. You just can't stay there too long. If you're sad, it's okay to be sad. You just can't stay there too long. But if you're over-emotional about the situation, then the universe is giving you a warning to take a step back from that. And that's fair and that's fine. Somebody needs to bring the clarity here. So what we have is the King of Swords trying to provide this new information to this page of swords so there's this ultimate clarity that shows up during this particular situation okay ultimate clarity king of swords heart energy very discerned energy very quick to make decisions but using very much the heart emotion in this particular situation so whoever you're dealing with you have a good partner who's trying to work with you and they are trying to say look at we're trying to make this offer happen even though we're both at odds at the moment they're honoring that energy that the both of you have and they're saying look we both want the same thing we want this creation we want this birth of this situation to happen and what it looks like we're going to need to do is we're going to need to give it another spin, right? So the Wheel of Fortune here, this expansion, this wisdom, this abundance that wants to come through with the boundaries that you guys have to create. So that's what's going to happen here. You guys have to create the boundaries that are going to work for both of you in this partnership. Um, what is that? What are your boundaries in this relationship? Because whatever this is, it's a really good one. So if you can work out the negativity right now, then you guys are going to be in a good forward uh, momentum uh, in the long run is what I'm feeling. So that's exactly what they're saying here. Um, there is that ultimate clarity where both of you are going to realize we don't have to quit. We just have to come up with what our boundaries are in this particular situation. Okay. And that will inevitably turn your spark around with the solar plexus chakra. Okay. And that's what happens. You guys made a decision to choose wisely. That seven of cups that was there in the previous card. Now you've made the decision about what it is that you need to do. And now the spark is back with the sun card shining on this. Okay, so oh, that's a really, really, excuse me, really, really, really good reading. Can you give me any more information on the sun card here? Can I get this? <coughs> How does this work out for Capricorn and their partner, please? <coughs> excuse me. Stalemate, better decision, 
Not at odds. Better communication. <laughs> Is it all of them? Yeah. You're both going to get to the point where the death card, the transformation, comes up with the patience. So both of you guys are going to have patience in this situation. There's good tolerance for each other's boundaries in this particular situation. This will be a good this will be a great situation. So the four of wands is the same card as the four of wands here that we had at the beginning of, beginning of the week. This is the card also for me as they're explaining it to me contracts and negotiations supporting showing up here. And even though it leads into the five of wands, that's competition. It's realizing that this is healthy competition because it's bringing out the best in you. Page of Wands, it's bringing out the spark in you. Page of Wands into the Knight of Wands is carrying this message forward as well. A lot of passion in this. Both of you guys are sparked. You got the Two of Wands into the Three of Wands. You both want this and you both see the expansive possibilities in this. And the only thing that's going on here is the star Aquarius energy with the moon. You just might be a little bit nervous about how to move things forward but i can tell you you are going to work together you're going to make this thing happen you're going to see all the red flags in the situation together you're both going to have this like um like this talking situation where you guys just both honor it could be something simple as like a whiteboard so let me see how i can explain what i'm seeing it's like this whiteboard like you know the whiteboards that you write on the grease boards and it's like both of you have this commitment towards every Monday or every Wednesday or you have a day of the week where you just list out all of the concerns that you both have and you recognize where the common ones are together and you talk it out and you cross it off then you move down to the next one so there's positive communication that comes out of this level of competition which helps both of you in the long run so what's happening is the moon can sometimes create a little bit of a kerfuffle with people because it shines a light on some things that might not um, how do I say this? Um, it brings the subconscious out, right? The moon energy is responsible for that. It brings out any old secrets with that emotion. Then the star card, again, is bringing forward the best moments about how you both feel confidently about what it is that you're trying to do together. The principles will get worked out. Is there any other card that should go on this one? They said yes. What else besides the whiteboard? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you guys avoid it. <clears throat> so with that whole whiteboard conversation, <clears throat> with the star card, oh, excuse me, with the devil card and the tower in reverse, reverse, you both uh, get to the point where you are um, avoiding a negative situation in the future by making a working thought process. And here's where your expansion comes in. <laughs> so you have the ten of cups moment. In the upright giving you this new clarity of moving forward and you've buried the hatchet here at the same time the ten of swords in the reverse position so two aces at the end of this um, again like I said being supported with the Sun card it's just a matter of you guys working through both of your healthy egos um, and healthy competition at that moment okay so that's actually I'm really excited for you because it means that there's a lot of collaboration that's happening and it's going to be an abundant situation for the both of you on the back end. So continue to nurture and create your aspects when you're starting up this partnership of whatever it happens to be. Okay. What else, you guys? Nope. This is positive momentum forward. This is this is a good situation for Capricorn to be in right now. I love it. Okay. All right, so I am going to bring out some uh, different angel cards, and then we're going to go into the sun rising and moon. Um, and then they did want me to talk about the um, details uh, in the uh, sacred geometry book. So let's just start with that one first, okay? Because this one I think is going to be supportive for you for the entire week, okay? So again, we have the hexahedron, eight energy, um, and I feel it's going to have a lot to do with root chakra solar plexus if i'm right yeah orange energy nurture and create so here's the mantra if you want to use use it this week to help you a little bit i allow myself to experience and express the joy that lies within me 
I allow myself to experience and express the joy that lies within me. I allow myself to experience and express the joy that lies within me. Aho, and so it is. Yep. Um, you have to allow yourself this experience. You have to allow yourself this experience. It's like, let your hair down. Um, we all have a gift. You have a gift too. You have to be able to express yourself in your talent that makes you feel. And if there is a complimentary therapy, uh, therapy or counselor, this is a good time to bury the hatchet um, and work through any old child drama or any other situation that's come up in the past. Um, you need to be able to nourish yourself and love yourself so that you can continue to give birth to the project or the creation that you're trying to bring forward in the situation. So they are talking about carnelian. Yeah, I knew that was going to come up. Carnelian, also tangerine quartz, ooh, shivalingam if you have access to that, chrysoprase, and the platonic solid cube while you're meditating will actually help put you into a grounded uh, thought process as well. So that is the energy of what's going on with the hexahedron, okay? All right. So now we'll go into the angel messages. So this is the um, angel prayers for our Capricorn. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Notice the synchronicities, my friend. Thank you, angels. I trust your timing, right? Synchronicity is showing up here for you. The yin and the yang. Gemini energy, communication. <clears throat> Let's go in with our angel guide next. Oops, that didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. Yes. Okay. Woo, we have two cards. Thank you, universe. Wow. Sacred plan. It comes up here. Okay, so this is the universe helping you. And holy love. This definitely is the universe helping you. Okay? This is mother energy. Um, this is goddess energy. Whether you're male or female, using that divine creative energy that we all have. Um, and this is like divine mother coming to say, I'm helping you. <laughs> Work it out, kids. That's kind of what's going on here. Okay? Um, let's go into the Keepers of the Light to see which master wants to step forward to support you this week, okay? Capricorn. Woo! Holy buckets! All three! This is big! Okay. Here we go. Wow. Okay. First, um, you have Goddess Freya that just came out. So many people... Um, associate Freya with this last full moon that we had. Okay. Cycles and phases is what we have showing up here. Okay. Cycles and phases with Freya. Okay. She's the divine partner of Odin. Is that right? Yeah. Odin. Um, there is a beginning with every ending. Okay. So that helps me to support. Don't be a jerk hole during this transition, Capricorn. Okay. Because you can be pretty aggressive with people. Um, not in a mean way, but you have a lot of power behind you. So um, there is a beginning with every ending. Okay. Holy Amethyst is also talking about the divine alchemy that's happening behind the scenes. Okay. So um, move beyond any current challenge that you have. Work it out, kids. All right. And focus on what it is that you desire. So focus on the outcome. Mm. Um, this one showed up again. Who did this show up for? This was either Gemini or Aquarius. This process that you're going through, it's a great thing. Um, we're talking about your soul expansion. So your consciousness is also expanding. And, excuse me, you have the ability to understand the connection behind and betwixt, between all things. So you have... Um, uh, Maha Avatar Babaji. Now, I tried to explain this to either Gemini or Aquarius. I didn't like write it down specifically, but at his throat chakra, we have the Shri Yantra on his throat chakra, the expansion. And the Shri Yantra 
is used to bring in financial security as a grid, okay? And the grid, the uh, sacred geometry that's behind him is like the flower of life, okay? So I just thought it would be important to share that with you because I think some of you might need that energy and that information. So the universe is really supporting this, you guys. <laughs> get along all right say your peace and count to three give space to each other as you should um, so that every person can be heard it's going to work out whatever it is that needs to happen let it play out okay now if you are a Capricorn Sun here are your additional messages this situation is a freaking wake-up call hello this death and expansion this death and rebirth this timing allowing the universe to show up is a tsunami it's like they're trying to wake you up here the fairies come out and they talk about shining from within looks are only skin deep true beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine this is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty not necessarily just exterior beauty but what it is and the gifts that you have to bring forward within this particular partnership make sure that you are being heard without being a jerk -a <laughs> water your garden um, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest are really going to be required for you this particular week, okay? Water your garden. Take care of your own physical body. And then the last card we have here is Grand Trine. Blessings, 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 blessings. This is the energy of temperance. This is the energy of letting that divine alchemy, where did she show up? Temperance, holy amethyst, divine alchemy, stuff happening behind the scenes to help support you. Let it happen. Okay? That's exactly what this energy is here. It's the energy of temperance. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Right? Balance in the situation for you. Okay? If you are a Capricorn rising, here are your additional messages, my friend. You have uh, Optumnal Equinox. Release. Release any old energy that does not belong to you, okay? Release it. Let it go. <clears throat> now is also a time for you to give or receive healing. So everyone definitely has a natural ability to heal others, and yes, even you, but you might be called on, or you it might be necessary for you to go receive um, additional healing for yourself this particular week, whether it's acupuncture or massage, or you get your cards read to get specifics down into your details. That's what's important here, okay? We also have earthing, um, earth pulsing, pulse of the mother, slow down and spend time in nature. You, Okay, so this is going to be very important for you as well ground yourself through this challenge and this transition <laughs> and then you have earth element talking about stability here okay um this is the ace of pentacles that you want to be able to bring through did it where did it pop up did we have the ace of pentacles energy show up well we had the ace of a couple of different types of things but at the end of the day again the universe was talking about abundance those are your pentacles tangible touchable things and continue to nourish, continue to nourish them. Okay, if you are a Capricorn moon, then here are your additional messages. This is going to be a volatile week for you. It really is. Okay. Go back to the childhood innocence. Why are we doing this project together? Why do we think we can work together? Do you have something to offer? Do I have something to offer? Can we do this together? Child healing. Okay. Could be could be a potential in this whole situation do things with useful enthusiasm wisdom have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years if so now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with this particular challenge you have the wisdom within you Capricorn you really do okay baby steps this is all about baby steps start with one then go to two okay um, you need to take action. You need to follow your intuition sometimes before it makes sense, okay? But there's action that's required from you this particular week. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and you have Jupiter returns. This is benefits, okay? 
This is the energy of the chariot moving forward, moving you forward with grace and ease. And even though the universe may have a couple of landmines, they're doing their best with that alchemy in the background to square things out so it's an easier road for you. So like I said, this is really going to be a good week for you, Capricorn. You and your partner... Um, are going to be able to get through this and as much energy as you can put into allowing them to say their piece too and own the alchemy in the background without being a jerk hole and trying to over manipulate the situation you're both going to come out ahead the way that you want to be able to see it and it's going to be beautiful beautiful thing so i hope that whether your sun moon or rising you were able to get a lot out of this particular reading i know i enjoyed doing it so um uh, if you uh, are looking for more details, like I said, then there's a few different pop-ups that showed up within this particular reading that you can go back to. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, or any of the other suggestions that were in here to make sure that you get a full rounded picture. If you did like this, please make sure that you do give it a like so that I can be found in the algorithms for other people. And of course, if you would like a personal reading, go down to the description box and then book a session with me and I'd be happy to work with you um, to get down to your specifics and anything else that your angels and guides would like to specify for you. Other than that, thank you Capricorn very, very much. Happy Samhain, happy Halloween, many, many blessings, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye for now.